Hey guys, welcome to the video. Today I'm going to talk about the basic principles of freelancing. Uh, let's just jump into it. So you want to become a freelancer. I'm thinking development. Typically, if you're going to be doing development, programming, coding and freelancing, you're going to be doing this with the web stack. Why? It's just the most prevalent. Why? Because most businesses are going to need some sort of website. Very few businesses are going to need uh, IoT development. Very few businesses are going to need AI development. Very few businesses, well, small businesses rather, will need blockchain. You get the idea. So if you're going to be doing freelancing, pretty much expect that you're going to be doing the web stack. So that means HTML5, CSS3, a smidge of JavaScript, depending on the specifics of the job, and probably a lot of PHP. Why PHP? WordPress, Drupal, Joomla, all PHP based. Uh, it's just so common in small business, especially you find that a lot of small businesses are already invested in PHP and they're probably not going to want to switch off of PHP. All right, let's jump into the bullet points. All right, po bullet point number one, as I suggested, small clients. If you're freelancing, expect that you're going to be working with small clients. One of the big noob mistakes people get into when they first start any business is that they feel that they're going to be able to make a deal with some huge corporation and get this big contract and they think, oh, that's great. I'm going to become rich so quick. Just one client or two clients. It doesn't work that way. Number one, as a small business, you don't want one big client because then you might as well just have a boss. One big client owns you. They'll know it. They'll push you around. I've seen it firsthand and I've seen it many other times. You're much better off with many small clients. Anyway, that is high likeliness. 99.99% chance your clients will all be small business clients, which is good, which is good. Why? Because number two, you need at least five clients in your rotation because a lot of clients will disappear for months. So you may do the first version of a site and you're waiting for images from them or some feedback and you may have to wait a month or two. So you can't sit around waiting for these clients to come back to you. Number three, when you start building projects for a client after the initial bid, which should be based on a very easy to perform analysis, uh, you don't want to spend uh, hours and hours writing up proposals that never make money for you. So you got to find a balance between being able to put out a reasonable overview quote and uh, assessment of their project without spending too much time. Um, because I've seen it happen as well, where you, you spend all kinds of time putting together spec requirements and figuring out what you might need to do to implement a particular project for a client, and you don't get the contract. A lot of times, small businesses who are uh, not necessarily the most up and up will do that just to get free information from people. So when you do pr put out your proposal, your initial proposal, make sure it's quick and easy. Um, you get better and better as you practice that, but you don't want to spend too much time because you don't want to spend all your time writing proposals that don't turn into contracts. That being said, before, after a proposal and before you write one stitch of code or start planning anything beyond that, uh, you want to get a payment up front. There's either 50-50, 50 up front, 50 on completion, or my favorite, the 33 split, 33 up front, 33 delivery of the first draft, 33 at the end. Um, yeah, if you want to learn more uh, about all this stuff, you can check out my course on freelancing. Anyhow, next point, you want to have a well-defined contract with everybody signing on it. Each of you have a copy. And in that contract, you stipulate exactly what you're going to be delivering. So if there's no confusion down the road where the client says to you, hey, I thought you were going to do this, make sure it's in the contract. And finally, you want to get the very first version of your website or your web app or whatever code you're writing, really. You want to get the very first version out as quickly as possible. Dirty, dirty code. Dirty, dirty code. Why? Because you want to get something workable, even if it's broken, but something workable in the hands of your client so that they can say, okay, let me give you some feedback. I want this button here. I was hoping to do this and that. So you don't want to write rock solid code with the first version of software, any software you write, even would be software for a client or your own software. You want to get out quick and dirty because you're not going to really know what the client really wants until they actually start looking at it and using it. 
So don't worry if not all the functionality works great. You just tell them this is an alpha release. This is an early release for you to comment on. So not everything is going to be perfect. So give me your comments. All right. I hope you found this useful. If you want more training and mentoring from me, check out my mentoring program. I'm uh, starting to do a marketing campaign for it to promote it. So uh, there's only one me, only one Uncle Steph. And as such, as uh, this is not a sales tactic, spaces are limited because my time is limited. And as people sign up to the program, I'm going to be raising the prices to slow things down. Um, so if you're interested in the full mentoring, live coaching sessions, and all my curriculum, etc., check that out. If you just want to learn freelance, you can check out my freelance course uh, on the uh, Studio Web Store. You can find that as well. And if you have any questions about this content or any of the other any of the other content I put out or any general questions, you could put it below in the YouTubes. And of course, if you are a member of the mentoring program, you can put those questions to me in the private mentoring club. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.